You might be thinking, what's happening at the old studio? <laughs> I'm happy with that, so I'm mentally, mentally a little bit drained now, so it's taking all of me to not just go and sit on the sofa now. It came out so nice. I did get something delivered, which I'm extremely, extremely excited about. It is a six foot tall cardboard cutout. Hello, good morning. Coming to you on Friday morning, about 9 a.m. I've had a bit of a lazy morning. Luca has gone to nursery um, and today is a me day, so that's nice. I'm coming to you looking like this because today I'm going to do a full day with you, take you on a full day and what it's like. And it's 9 a.m. and I currently look like this. I've been up for about an hour and I have zero motivation. I have stationary fest in a week and I have loads to do and yeah I thought we'd start it like this very real very honest showing that it's 9am and I do not want to work I just cannot be bothered it's taking all of me to not just go and sit on the sofa now I've not done a day on the sofa for a very long time and a part of me is like oh today should be the day Emily you you have a day on the sofa but no what I'm realizing is when I have a very big event happening or a big project my brain does everything it can to do the opposite my brain is like emily you've got a whole week you don't need to do anything today don't worry about it and we're we're fighting that so today is friday and i am going to get my butt to the gym <laughs> i haven't been to the gym for a couple of weeks and i know it will put me in a great mood so um come let's go we're gonna go to the gym and um, i'm not gonna film in the gym but I'm, we're going and we are gonna like do a bit of a run just get our mental mental state in a good place i'm gonna have a shower at the gym and i'm gonna come out of the gym looking refreshed feeling good and then from there we're gonna go to the old studio pick up some things like I really need to move out of there. <laughs> I've just sort of abandoned it. Uh, so we're going to pick up some bits and then um, we'll come back here. I need to, I need to make some like mystery bags for Stationery Fest. Uh, I've done my order, so I don't need to do that. I need to un unpack some things to show you. Uh, there's all sorts we need to do. It's going to be a busy day and I've got something I need to show you. I'll show you when I get back, but there's, I've got something very excited to show you. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for being here. Sorry I look like this, but let's go. Let's go to the gym. <laughs> You might be thinking what's happening at the old studio <laughs> because i just haven't been there uh this is what's happening it's abandoned it's a ghost town here <sighs> about three weeks until i need to hand the keys back um and it's not been my priority because i have events and other things and i'm going to spend a bit of time here well i might spend an hour here packing some things up I'd like to get all the tables dismantled and then in between the two events I have, so I have one next week and then one two weeks after that, in between that is gonna be sorting this room out and getting it ready to hand the keys back. But yeah, it won't all fit in the studio, so I'm gonna have to get rid of a lot of stuff, which is sad. I think that's why I've put off coming here, but yeah, I'm gonna dismantle this table and my two desks here and pack a box of stuff to take home and then that's all I can do today.
Right, I think it's about an hour later and I have stripped the walls of all artwork, the neon signs gone, my fringe is gone, it's just, I got it all done and sadly my pin displays <laughs> have left behind the, um, the sticky part and it's not actually bad, it all peels away, it's just going to be a bit of a, a task to do so I'm not going to do that today because as I was doing it I was like oh my hands hurting and I don't understand and then I noticed um I've I noticed I've cut my finger quite bad um sorry if you don't like blood um where I bend my finger I've cut it I don't know why I've cut it on because I haven't touched anything sharp or anything but I don't know anyway got loads done the walls are empty <sighs> and the only things I need to do on this wall is take out the screws but I don't know what I use to put it on the wall because I nothing I have will work so I need to go back and watch the vlogs of when I put it up <laughs> to see how I did it. Technically this room doesn't look any different in terms of the amount of stuff in it I'm not taking much home with me but I got loads done in terms of like clearing the walls so I'm happy with that so but I'm mentally mentally a little bit drained now so I am gonna head home let's go. It's half two and I'm now back in the studio this studio uh so much to do but again i feel a bit lost don't know what i'm doing i thought i'd open some kickstarter packages with you because i have three that i have supported the first one is from pintada designs so this was a bear with me um kickstarter and i went for the red panda rewards so those are gorgeous oh look at my finger i really hurt myself I don't know what I did it on, but anyway. Um, so that is from Lauren. Thank you so much, Lauren. And then this one is from Kaz. This is the rewards from Kaz. Look how lovely they are. They came out so nice. So congrats to Kaz on those. Some little matching stickers and a little sticker sheet. I feel like I didn't back all of this stuff. I feel like Kaz has added extra maybe i'm wrong but i don't know feels like a lot <laughs> thank you so much kaz those are gorgeous and then this other one i actually got weeks ago i got weeks ago opened it when i wasn't filming um and kind of forgot about it <laughs> and i'm so so sorry to kiara for this so it's kiara that's done this it's r j paper company and it was this lovely guinea pig uh kickstarter i absolutely love that so thank you so much to Kiara for that. So those are my three Kickstarters that I received. So it's officially a week to go until Stationery Fest. It's actually a week on Saturday, but this time next week I will be going setting up and I'm not prepared at all. I also don't know if I'm taking it seriously. It's the hands down the biggest of event I will ever do. And I'm just quite laid back about it. I don't know if that's very foolish but um i think because i've done quite a lot of events now and I, they always kind of work out even if you don't plan your table <laughs> like you make it work and i feel like that's i'm just quite laid back because i know it'll work out but there is stuff i need to do i I have products and I'll, I, I'll, I just need to kind of pack boxes my like card reader and all that stuff I've used recently like that's all set up still so that's I'm not in a rush to do that I'm gonna make some mystery bags like lucky dip bags um so I've actually had some bags delivered so I've ordered like the candy striped bags I went with gold um and i thought i would add a lilac sticker and i thought that would be very on brand I bought some stationery to sell that's not obviously i haven't made it it's stationery fest and i'm gonna take lots of pins <laughs> and leggings and it just feels a bit like i'm not very stationery like i'm gonna take washi tape i'm gonna take notepads and things so it'll be fine but i saw these pens online I thought oh what if I bought like a bunch of lilac pens and take them with me they're like super sparkly um and I have a couple of packs of those that I'm just gonna like put in a pen pot on my desk um I also got some lilac pencils 
and I also got a box of lilac highlighters um so like I just I just think events like this it's good to have options of stuff that's lower cost that people can just kind of pick up and especially when you go to like big events like this I find that people want a little bit from each table they want to take away as much from each little table um and just having eight pound notepads and nine pound pins I might put people off that are just wanting to make very small purchases from lots of tables so taking stickers taking pens things that are low cost I think is gonna be good we'll see um and then I also bought these which I feel like every event I do I'm like trying to find a solution to do my pricing I just think it looks rubbish anytime I do it so anyway I bought some of these I bought some of these like wooden blocks that are actually for wedding table place name things and I thought I could put little uh prices in those and dot them around the table I don't know I don't know what I'm doing however I did get something delivered which I'm extremely extremely excited about and it's actually here next to me and I'm dying to show it you so let me let me put her in a better light and then I'll show you this is my brand new purchase don't mind the mess behind her it is a six foot tall cardboard cutout and it's the same height as me I am almost six foot tall and <laughs> she's gonna be like I'm gonna wear this whole outfit to stationery fest and my thought is I'm gonna put it next to my table and encourage people to come and have a selfie and you might have heard me talk about like I wanted to do like an interactive element and this is what it's going to be so <laughs> I absolutely love her the problem I've got is I left her up like just stood in the office and I walked in this morning and I nearly screamed because it scared the life out of me um I, <laughs> I forgot that I had it so yeah so that's exciting so my table you'll see it in the next vlog or potentially the vlog after that I'm taking you with me to stationary fest I'm gonna have one six foot table on the other one side of it i'm gonna have my cut out to do selfies with on the other side i'm going to have my legging rail with leggings on so the only thing i need to do between now and next friday is i need to make up some goodie bags i need to paint my displays so my displays that i bought recently I am going to paint them lilac so many of you told me not to but i am going to do it and i think it's going to look great i've done a test on photoshop like i'm happy with it I picked up some paint yesterday and it's going to be fab so i need to do that i then need to do all the pricing i need to go over to sheffield to pick up loads of leggings from locket loves oh, what else do i need to do i think that's everything i need to do like there's not loads i'm not making anything specific for this event Maybe that's a mistake, but anyway. So it's, like I said, it's just gone half two. I am going to sit and do a bit of admin. I've got a few emails to catch up on. All my orders are out. I did those yesterday. So I'm going to just get some admin done and then I'll be getting Luca from nursery. And it's Friday and we do ice cream Fridays. So uh, I pick him up from nursery and we go and grab ice cream. So we'll do that. And then I'll probably be back in here tonight to get some work done. And maybe I can start putting together some of the goodie bags. And then I need to make a nice little um, sticker that will go on those bags. So uh, yeah, we'll get some admin done and then we will go for ice cream. So it's half five now we are back from ice cream Luca is downstairs with his dad I have caught my hand again and it's bleeding again <laughs> anyway um, I'm gonna do a bit of work so I've been thinking about these mystery bags and I've laid them out on the table up there and I'm gonna do them like crazy good value I've never done this before like at an event so I don't know how well it'll go but I'm thinking they'll be five pounds but in it you've got it's like 10 pounds worth of stuff maybe more 12 pounds worth of stuff there's a pin in there a postcard a bookmark a sticker for five pounds I'm, I'm gonna make up about 20 of them 
don't know if that's good like i'd love it if i sold 20 of them maybe that's too little maybe that's too many we'll see i don't know anyway i was sent some of these labels if you watched last week's vlog thank you so much um i worked with mumbine in that vlog and by the time this video goes up sadly the competition will have ended but mumbine sent me some labels to try this video isn't sponsored um i just didn't get a chance to use them in the last vlog so i thought i would use them on these mystery bags so i need to design uh, a sticker that will explain that they're five pounds and that they're a mystery bag of items so i'm gonna design that sticker now and print off a load of them so that i have them and then we will bag them up and get them ready So this is all the stuff I have for the mystery bags um, and I've mocked one up here and I think it's going to be really nice. So we've got the gold bag and then we have the label. So I'm going to make all of these up. I think I might go live on Instagram while I do it um, and yeah, we'll see how they look. It's now 7.30 which means I need to go and put Luca to bed and be mum but I've just come off a live where I packed loads of five pound mystery bags and while I was on there people were asking me to do ten pound mystery bags so I did that while I was on the live so thank you so much to everyone who suggested that I made some stickers and um I have five and ten pound mystery bags I don't know if I've made enough I need to really think about this I'm just underestimating this event I think I'm not sure anyway is now half seven on a Friday night. So I'm gonna sign off. Thank you for spending the day with me from going to the gym this morning to going to the old studio to coming back and making the mystery bags. Um, it's been a, a nice day really, not a super productive day, but a nice day. You won't see a vlog from me now until after Stationery Fest. So make sure you follow me over on Instagram. I'll be doing stories throughout the day while I'm there. Um, if you are coming to the event, please come and say hello would absolutely love it and I'm giving hugs all day so come and say hi. I am going to film next week in the run-up to Stationery Fest. I will be documenting the preparation. I'll also take you along while I'm at the event so look out for my next vlog and um, please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you really soon for another video. Bye guys!